Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on using samples. In this video, we're going to talk about how a sample can be used to draw conclusions about an entire population, and we'll also talk about some of the risks of doing so as well. So our question says, 480 students attend a school. So that's our population. There's 480 students that attend a school, so they are, that's our population. And the teacher asks 50 students, so that's our sample, which colour they would like the new school blazer to be. And here are the answers. So 20 of the students would like a black blazer, 15 of the students would like a navy blazer, 9 of the students would like a green blazer, and 6 of the students would like a maroon blazer. And if we add up our number of students, we find that there's 50 altogether, and that makes sense because the teacher asked 50 students, and we've got 50 answers. And then we've been asked to estimate how many of the 480 students would like a navy blazer. Now in this question, we're going to assume that the sample results are representative of the entire population. So what that means is the opinions of these 50 students would represent the opinions of all 480 students. And for instance, if we looked at how many students liked a black blazer, that was 20, and 20 out of 50 would be two-fifths as a fraction. So what we'd be assuming is that because two-fifths of the students in the sample would like a black blazer, that two-fifths of all the students would like a black blazer. And that's an assumption that we're making. And we've been asked to estimate how many of the 480 students would like a navy blazer. So let's look at our navy blazer, and 15 students would like a navy blazer. So that's 15 out of 50. So let's write that down as a fraction, 15 fiftieths. And if we cancel that down, so 15 and 50 can both be divided by 5. So let's divide 15 by 5, which is 3. And 50 divided by 5 is 10. So we have found that 3 tenths of our sample would like a navy blazer. So let's assume that 3 tenths of our population, our 480 students of the entire school, would like a navy blazer. So let's work out 3 tenths of 480. So let's take our 480 and divide it by 10, which would be equal to 48. And then take our 48 and to find 3 temps, we would multiply it by the numerator of 3, and that would be 48 multiplied by 3, and that would be 144. So our estimate for how many of the 480 students that would like a navy blazer would be 144. Okay, so that's part A. Now let's have a look at part B. So part B, we've got the same information and we've been asked to state any assumption that we made. So our first assumption is the fact that this sample has to be representative of the whole school. And for instance, with the students that liked navy blazer, and there was 15 of them, that was 15 out of 50, which was 3 tenths. Now if the fraction for the whole school wasn't 3 tenths, there would be a different answer. So we're making an assumption that 3 tenths of the entire school would like a navy blazer based on just these 50 answers. Another assumption that we made is that the teacher chose these 50 students randomly. So that these 50 students aren't just all 50 year 9 students, that there's a selection of students chosen randomly across the whole school. And that's important because again that might mean that it's not representative, and if it's not representative then it may not be accurate. So here are our assumptions. Our first assumption is the sample is representative, otherwise our estimate would not be accurate. Our second assumption is the fact that the sample is random, otherwise the sample might not be representative and then therefore our estimate wouldn't be accurate either. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, Tilly wanted to do a survey about homework at her school and she's interviewed five students in her class with the highest test results. State three reasons why her sample may not be representative of the whole school population. So let's have a look at Tilly's method. So first of all, Tilly's interviewed five students. Now that's not a very large sample. If by chance these five students absolutely hate homework, it might give the impression that everyone in the entire school hates homework. So a sample of five students isn't very large. Tilly should really take a much larger sample. She's interviewed students from just her own class. Now her own class might be a class that absolutely love homework, their studious class. It might be a class that doesn't like homework, you really should take a range of students from the whole school, from all the classes, or even a wider range of classes. So her just being in her own class wouldn't necessarily be representative of the whole school. And finally, the fact that she's interviewed the students with the highest test scores, well it could be that the students that got the highest test scores may like homework more than other students, maybe not, but it may do. And so she might want to take a range of test scores in her sample. So there are three reasons why her sample may not be representative of the whole population, and that's it. 